Right then guys, my name's Jack Wright, if you don't already know me, I'm a personal trainer and I'm basically trying to help you guys basically find out what smart food choices there are on the go if you're trying to like stay in healthy shape or trying to not gain any weight or kind of get thrown off your diet if you're on the go, okay? Now this is going to be handy for anyone who's an office worker, a city worker, someone who hasn't prepared their lunch or someone who's on a motorway journey or at an airport. So. These are going to be ideal for that. Um, I'm going to try and get a variety of choices for you so you've got a bit of options and also explain briefly without dragging on too long why they're good choices and why and some of the things I'd stay clear of. Okay, so I'm going to jump straight in. We've got McDonald's first on the go. Um, so I'm going to start off with saying why I've chosen what I've chosen. So first of all, we've got a grilled chili wrap. Okay, grilled chicken chili wrap, they're called. Um, they're under the big flavour wraps. Now, these are ideal because they're quite low in calories for what they are, and you're getting a decent source of protein from the chicken. We'll go into further detail in a minute. The, um, another choice I would choose would be the classic muck chicken sandwich. Now, the reason I'd choose this over a burger is because less, there's less fat in it. There's also less calories in it because of the size of it. And compared to a Big Mac, which is 500 calories, this only contains just over about 350, 380 calories. So you're saving some calories there. Another thing which is probably the most sensible choice, most sensible choice, would be this chicken grilled chicken salad. Now this is ideal because obviously it's just like having a salad, and you've got the chicken in there, and it's literally. I mean, you're not going to believe this. It's under 150 calories. It's apparently according to McDonald's, it's only 133 calories. This. And you get a decent 20 gram serving of protein in that. So as you can see, like it's just it's very plain, just chicken, salad with tomato, anything you probably prepare yourself to be honest. Um, you also get with it, you get a source of the dressings. Now I've looked into the dressings, they're not as calorific as you would think, because um, they're not mayonnaise and um, fat based. They're like for example, I've chosen a fajita style one. The I mean the ingredients is water, tomatoes, onion puree, red peppers. Right, red wine vinegar. So all really low calorie options um, in their dressings, which is helpful to be fair. Now, in another video I did, we looked at Tesco salads and they're actually really, really bad. Like the mayonnaise they load on all the salads is just, it skyrockets your salad up to like 400 calories. So it is kind of scary. I'll do a comparison video as well for some of these options because it will blow you away. But anyway, so let's go into a little bit more detail. And we'll start with the salad, obviously the best option, okay? so. With the salad, you're gonna get 133 calories, 3.7 grams of fat, four carbs and 20 protein. Now that's a decently balanced meal if you're on the go and it's also gonna save you a load of calories. So for those of you who are aware of calories, like you only have so many calories in the day to be able to eat unless you go over that maintenance and then obviously that's when fat gain occurs. So minimizing the amount of calories you consume on these fast food um, meals will basically help you out because you're going to save more calories for yourself later in the day or throughout the day, so you're not going to go over that calorie allowance you've got for yourself. Also, there's 20 grams of protein in there, which is a decent amount per meal, so I reckon that that is a recommendation. And the reason I've gone for grilled is because you're saving on the fats. Having it grilled rather than the crispy, the crispy options basically means it hasn't been dumped into a fryer and it's not covered in breadcrumbs, etc., etc., which would basically add more fat and calories to your meal. For example. The chicken and bacon salad goes up to 184, but to be honest, most of these salads, I mean, I, I'd go for any of these really, but I just tried to choose the best option. You've just got to watch out, basically, for the amount of salt. I mean, the salt shoots up, obviously, you've had the bacon, so the crispy chicken and bacon or the chicken and bacon salads, they, they're over a gram of salt per meal, which is quite a bit, to be fair. So just be careful on the salt content, but as we're aware, we're at a fast food joint, not going to get perfection, okay? I'm just trying to help get, like, a... A solution basically to minimize the fat gain you'll get okay so on to the next one we have the McChicken McChicken burger now this is a lot smaller option this is compared to your old salad so one thing for sure it's probably gonna it's probably honest honest opinion it's probably gonna taste better this but the size of it is like smaller than my hand and like you're not gonna be very full after this so you are gonna be probably hungry and like I would recommend probably throwing in a fruit bag or something alongside it just to try and fill you up a bit more but for satiety, the salad's the best option. If you want a bit of taste without going over your calories, this is probably a sensible option along with the wraps. But again, we've chosen this because 
any of the other options really are going to just be blow your calories out of proportion and this seems to be the most sensible option I could find on their menu. I'll keep looking over here because that's their men the, the calories they've got on their salad thing, uh, the menu, so yeah. Big flavour wraps now, I've never tried these before but this, it's basically like having a wrap obviously like and what you've got in here, let's have a look. Plenty of salad, a bit of mayonnaise and sweet chilli sauce, so we have got a mayo option and there's some mayo on there so that is going to add in the fats but I mean that is decent, I mean, I've never seen these but I'm pretty impressed with that. It's loaded with chicken and salad and it's a, it's a decent length that is, a bit of decent length, well. <laughs> um, wrong, appropriate word there but you can see compared to the sandwich it's like that's going to probably fill you up a lot more this wrap than this salad sandwich would so it's about being sensible and choosing the right options. Again this, this sandwich has got 340 calories, I mean sandwich. This wrap, sorry, has got approximately 340 calories and the McChicken burger's got about 388. So this is even more calories as well, probably because of the breadcrumbs around the chicken, but this is a grilled option, like I said, so that you can see the differences. But anyway, you get the idea. This is what I would have. Um, you can stay lean on the go. It's a myth that you can't. It really is, and it's an excuse, quite frankly. Um, and... It's all about basically how much do you want the outcome of you're trying to work towards and what's your end goal. Now, if I was trying to stay in shape, yeah, this is what I would do. And these are the healthy options which I would choose. And if you're not tracking your calories, these are ideal because they're low in calories. If you are tracking your calories and you're doing something what I teach, which is flexible dieting, dieting, you've got a bit more play and you've got a bit more room to move. But again, you've got to ask yourself, you're going to have a lot of calories from this place potentially and you've got to minimise that really because otherwise you're going to be starving throughout the day from a weight loss program which is not going to be ideal it's like your number one enemy on a weight loss program or a cutting diet or whatever you want to call it is hunger if you if you are hungry you're going to struggle a lot more than someone who's full all the time and i've had i've got clients who are moaning that they can't eat the foods that they've been given for the weight loss course because there's that much to eat and the food choices fill them up so much so yeah i'm going to end the video there I hope you found that useful. Um, it's just about being sensible at the end of the day, and obviously not have. It. If you have the fries, you're going to add in 300 calories of just fat, basically, because that's all they are, saturated, like, just covered in fat and potatoes are fat in, basically. So you're not going to do yourself any justice. Recut and just going to throw yourself off your diet. Whereas this is more of a balanced approach, um, so you get best of both in a way. And if you can have a drink, have a diet soda or a water, make sure it's a zero calorie thing so you just don't add any excess calories but you don't need, okay? So if I was if I was someone who wanted a balanced life, balanced diet and was going to Mackey's and staying lean, I'd probably choose the big flavour wrap or the salad. And if I like Coke, I don't I'm not a massive fan of it, but if I did, I'd probably choose a zero calorie Coke or a zero calorie diet Pepsi or whatever. So that's then not going to add any calories. Now, this is quite controversial. You're not probably going to hear many trainers admit this or say this, but I'm trying to be honest with you and trying to help you out as well. I'm being real. So, this is me teaching you how to stay on a diet, lose weight, and still have a life. Hope you've enjoyed that. And if you want to see more, make sure you come over to my Facebook page. I'll be sharing loads more. And also check out my YouTube channel, both for at Jack Wright Fitness. If it's helped you, make sure you like it, comment on this video. And if you want to share it to your friends, by all means do so. It'll really help me out. Thank you very much. Plenty more coming. I've got Subway, I've got Tesco's, I've got a, an array of other, other series coming. So if you found it useful, let me know. Cheers. Mm. I'd recommend the wrap. It's nice, that is. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>